Yeah. It's okay. I don't mind it just being. Don't mind it just being me on the camera. I'm sorry. Don't worry. You're fine. Keep going. We talk like this all the time before people let us. Hi, Beth. We're goofy. Let me see what it looks like. I can't. No, it, it, you'll, you'll be fine. I can't see. Hi. Hi, Dorothy. We're going to get a couple more people. Oh, hi, Anna. Dang, we went from like one to ten real quick. <laughs> hi, Terry. Hi, Shirley. Everybody like my cat mask? Yeah. Hi, Mike. All right. This actually isn't going to take long before we switch. Look at, look at this. Look at all these people. They don't care about you. Look at this. I mean, it's all about me. Forget you. What's different about this picture? We got our masks on. So look at mine. I'm repping the city of Marietta. I wore mine is earlier it, this it, week. Is Sorry. It backwards to me. Is it backwards to them? Yeah. No, I don't know. I don't know. We hey, Anna, is her out. face mask backwards? Also, <laughs> give me a mic check because I know with the. Um, hi, hey, Boozer, how are you? Oh, yeah. Uh, hey, Boozer, if you ever want us to come to your building, just let us know. <laughs> yes. We are. Well, I mean, we've done the outside, but we didn't go inside. Because Boozer's over on, um, on Church Street. Yes. Square Threads. Yeah, that's right. We'll go anywhere. Yeah, we'll go anywhere. So we're going to have a special guest with us in just a little oh, bit. Good. Thanks. Thank you. Look at me with my reading glasses. I might need them later, so I'm going to keep them. My hair looks better with them on. <laughs> Right here. Hi, Christine. Hi, Robert. Nice to have you. So, um, oh, thank you, Anna. All right, good. Well, since we're inside today, there's not as much wind, so hopefully it won't be a problem. But, um, of course, we are honoring all of the COVID procedures anywhere we it go. It is backwards. And it is backwards? Oh, well, this says Marietta for those who can't read. Printers can probably read this it. Just says, this is just cats, so yes. it makes... Um, and so today, yes, we are in a very special place. Um, this probably wasn't the best backdrop to start. Well, because, because when you, the lighting wasn't good. Such the, a gorgeous space. The, uh, the lighting and wasn't good the, the elevator. Other, <laughs> no, but the, the lighting wasn't good the oh. other way where I was standing. Okay. And honestly, y'all, I'm going to turn the camera around. Here's what you want to see right now. Yes. Ready? Say hi, Andy. <laughs> Hello, everyone. How are you doing this fabulous Friday? So, um, if... If anybody doesn't know who this is, I mean, we all know who Andy is, but the other person's Humphrey Bogart, if you don't know that one. Hi, James. Hi, Deidre. Hi, Anna. Yes. Humphrey. If Humphrey can wear it, then we can wear it. Yes. Let me scoot over Amy because I couldn't see there. So, um, yeah, we're in the Strand, and it's because Andy was kind enough to let us come in, and we want to give Andy a couple minutes to talk about what the Strand is up to during this whole COVID uh, I don't know what the word is. Pandemic. Every well, I don't want to use the word pandemic. <laughs> I want to. Yeah, in this in this time yeah. of COVID. What's what? Um, BC. Before. Uh, right. Well, BC before COVID and AD. Well, no, we have we have BC before no, COVID. AD after yeah. yeah. So Andy, why don't you tell us what the Strand's been doing during this COVID time and what you're continuing to do um, right now? So go ahead, Andy. Absolutely. Well, first. Hi everybody, welcome to the Earl and Rachel Smith Strand Theater. My name is Andy Gaines. I am lucky enough to call myself the general manager of this last historic theater in Cobb County. And it has been crazy here. So we have done, in 2019, we did more than 1,100 events. And in 2020, it's been slightly different. <laughs> so you may be walking by and the lights might be off when you pass by, but let me tell you, we have been open. And we continue to do private events around the week. It has been great. The biggest, most fun thing that we've been doing is the private movie screening. Oh, yeah. So, for $350, you can get your group of 15 people together, come in, all of your popcorn, your soda, and your candy is included, and we have a bar that you can also add on to if you want to have a little fun too. Pick whatever movie you want, and you can sit down and have a wonderful evening. Wait a minute. Any movie I want? Oh, any movie you want. <laughs> oh, man. Andy, dang. Okay. Listen, we do not mess around except when we mess around. <laughs> That's right. Hey. And I've seen a lot of friends on Facebook who have had events. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I really have. I have it's been a lot. The that I was getting while y'all were introducing was from someone trying to rent the Strand Theater mm -hmm. to watch a movie with their, uh, with their mm -hmm. friends and 
family. Question, yeah. Andy, can you buy that ahead of time as like a Christmas present? 100% <laughs> you can buy that ahead of time. Let me tell you, if you want to watch a movie in December, I would highly suggest you do it early because yes. they are getting very, very full. I bet. We are averaging almost 1,000. Movie a day here at the Strand Theater. Wow. Oh gosh. So, you know, wouldn't that be fun to do a birthday party and watch the Christmas story or listen, Griswold Christmas? Because we can't do public ticketed events right now, mm -hmm. private is your way to go. So yeah. if you want to see Miracle on 34th Street, mm -hmm. if you want to see Elf, if you want to see Christmas Story, if you want to see Home Alone, 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 Home Al
Oh, wait, actually, hold on, Andy. I gotta give you some paperwork. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. You know, I, I that <laughs> If you were wondering if we are still doing all the things that we've done in the past, we are absolutely. The bug man was just here making yes. sure that we never see bugs. In That's the right. <laughs> and if there's one thing we do is we make sure our friends at other institutions get their paperwork get and invoices. Get their bills, you know? <laughs> Thank you. We'll see you later. All right, so I'm going to take it all this while we walk around. It's always so much easier. Do you want to? Well, let's just, let's carry it into the oh, Okay, never mind. We'll, do you have your okay. notebook? Where did you put the, I don't know. Let me get my notebooks. Hold on. We have these notebooks, and she didn't. I'll walk into the theater, but I won't turn the camera. Okay. I got All right. Sorry. Books. Sorry, guys. That lights. Right. There we go. So yeah, we'll show that. We'll come back into the we'll lobby. Come back in the lobby because we Andy's in the lobby of this beautiful historic theater in the heart of Marietta. And um, sorry, we are Andy's now... talking what? to somebody in the lobby. That's why we didn't want to bother them in the lobby. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, as beautiful as our faces are, like with these masks on, you got. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't, if you don't know who's who, Krista Cat, Amy, whatever. Awesome. Sure. Amy, awesome. Amy, awesome. Sure. Amy Marietta. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna I'm gonna turn the camera. If you have never been inside, um, here for a movie or a show, mm -hmm. it's impressive. It's a beautiful space, and it's we're gonna go over a little bit. It's of a little dark, it. it's but dark we'll move right up. now. But we're gonna move in a little bit. Um, let's just go down to the stage area, actually. As we walk down, um, it's on a so, slope here. I'm on a slope. Yeah. So, okay, hold on. As Andy mentioned, there are ropes. Um, th this is what I'm calling Disney rules apply, where certain rows are blocked off. So when you come here for a rental event, not all the rows are filled. Right. Not, so you will have, there's Amy, there's distancing, social distancing is being uh, met here. They have that ability. Um, and so you could see we also just have, they didn't turn on all the lights. They have an event tonight, so they were kind enough to kind of let us in before this event. And they have a big event tomorrow as well, so we are at their mercy, which we appreciate letting us come in. And also we are, um, you'll see a lot of things kind of moving around, and they're, um, hold on. They're using the stage and the back rooms everywhere. During COVID, the Strand has been doing kind of what we've done in every kind of uh, public institution. They've been taking this opportunity to freshen up, to make sure when they open fully, they are open bigger, better than ever. Mm -hmm. And so when we walk around, guys, just FYI, you'll see things. Um, there may or may not be, you know, a well, chair somewhere and things like but that. But you know, so. what I said was the fun thing about these videos that we do is that we're often going in places that are working businesses. Mm -hmm. And so you kind of get a behind the scenes look to how you know, a theater or a community center works or a business works when the public, the spotlight's not on them for a show mm -hmm. or something. So um, that's what we're going to do. We're going to walk around to all kinds of corners of this building. Um, but let's see if oh, we wait, can hold on, show hold on. what. I, I just need y'all to know we went to the basement and the level of disappointment okay. was. What else? <laughs> <laughs> I felt really good that Andy was the one let, <laughs> telling her there's nothing original. There and is it a wasn't basement. Me. There is there, a basement. Yeah, and it's an original basement i mean i think it was it was built it was dug out oh, yeah. originally but um it in uh, 19 no in 2003 they did a complete renovation of this building and um when they did that they pretty much um it, tore everything out put mm -hmm. all new in made it safe because it was falling apart i think mm -hmm. um and so uh everything is well, not everything but most most things are post 2003 but it was done in the spirit of the earlier building mm -hmm. so um you know, as far as lighting and decor and, and the, the location of things is all um, yeah. pre that date. But let's talk a little bit about the history of this building. Um, but actually but first, let's, yeah. yeah, hold on. I want to show the, you want to show the seats? I just want to show the seats from this yeah. view yeah, yeah. because it really is beautiful, this thing. Um, here are the lovely seats that you have. And then there's a balcony up above. Okay. The balcony is original. However, they did shorten it and, um, Originally, it had a third level up there that we'll talk about in just a minute as well. So, um, now when you come in, because originally, I think he said it seated um, like almost like a thousand. Almost a thousand people, and now it's like 600 and something, something right? Something like that, yeah. I think so, so um, yeah. here, well, there Let's we go. Make a better backdrop. I know, that's what I was about this to like. Sorry, y'all. Tour the strand behind us. Okay. There you go, that's better. Um, so, oh, I nice. did bring my notebooks, but. I forgot my hand notes. All right, well, let's, <laughs> let's before, so we're going to go through before this. Even, before even this building specifically, let me take you a yes. little bit farther back. 
Um, yeah. So the Strand Theater actually was in a different location. It was known as the Strand Theater. Um, the first article I found was from around 1916. So there was the Strand Theater on Atlanta Street. Um, so if you're on Atlanta Street, you're walking uh, south from where Sweet Melissa Records and Antiques on the Square are. If you kind of just keep walking south, that building behind it, between, um, it, it kind of backs up to, what's that cross street? Anderson. Anderson, Anderson yeah. it, that corner of Anderson. We kind of were over there for a video a long now, time ago. That, that was yeah. the original Strand movie house. From 1916. 1916 right. until they moved, moved here. here. Right. And yeah. the guys that owned it at the time were... Manning Winks Theater Company. Mm -hmm. So, and that Manning um, um, is—he's related to Judge Manning. So, anybody who's got knows a lot of Marietta history. Mm -hmm. um, he, he was either the brother or the cousin. There was some sort of connection. But continue. Yeah. So they were running that uh, theater down on Atlanta Street, mm -hmm. and this block here actually, we've got one of our. Um, you guys are probably familiar now with our Sanborn maps, maps, fire maps of uh, fire. Insurance. insurance. Map. Thank you. That's the word I was looking for. And they Maps. really needed these for the, this yes. block. <laughs> so um, this is a what year is this? 1885. Okay. So in 1885. So it would be this side right here. Yeah. This it was area. actually this block here. It was divided into two different buildings, and one of the buildings was a grocery, and the other was a dry goods for many years. And then back behind it was a big warehouse. And for many years, it was guano. I'm telling now, is you. Is that backwards, though? That's it is backwards, backwards to them. them. Here, so why don't Let you me, go on this yes. side? I'm going to switch okay. around. Okay, so they can see it better. All right, hold on, guys. You're going to see me in a minute, but we're going to switch to Amy. There we go. Um, okay. Come a little bit closer to me and hold it up higher. More. And then over this way. There you go. All right, guys, I'm going to see where my finger is. Voila. There we go. So these right here, grocery. Look, guano, guys. It's guano again. I bet Marietta just smelled with all that guano. Cows and but guano doesn't have to be just cows. It can be bat guano. True. It can be horse. It can be anything. Any animal that goes poop. Well, a, lot of, a lot of livestock. And, <laughs> yes, and that's true. Animals in the area. But I mean, so that's but the, that's that the, map, it really does not change the look of this, this part of the square. Um, pretty much through all those Sanborn maps, even till 1923, which was the last one we have, it really doesn't change much. Right. Okay. So this is a picture we have of that block. Uh, we might have brought another picture. Too. I'll have to look. Uh, I printed out one from like the 40s, but it's the Strand at that point. That's the Strand. Yeah. So before the Strand, this kind of shows you. Now I think this picture was taken around 1933, because in 19. Sorry, that's me. Turn it, there you go. Whoa! The now they get. On. Now they can right. see it. Well, we are in a theater. We should have our lights on. Okay. So That's better. We can see it better. Um, Sorry. So in around 1930, there was a fire. Um, Andy actually referred to it as an explosion, um, and I did not um, have a chance to look in the MDJ archives. Maybe the guano it. exploded. <laughs> we, I don't know, but we we should look that up, and if we find an article, we can post it, or if anybody else knows about that. Um, in 1930, and then. Um, and this book that I have is actually a thesis that was written in 19, no, 2000, 2003. Well, it was 2003. published in 2003. Published so. in 2003. It was a thesis written. And she mentions that there was a fire in 1932. So I don't know exactly which one is correct or if there were two separate mm -hmm. fires. But um, by 1934, Manning Winks Company had decided to move to this block, which had a fire, and the buildings were destroyed. Mm -hmm and build this strand building. So, um, hold this, on one second. Yeah. I'm gonna turn it towards me. Just, uh, whoa, whoa, on the glasses. Sorry, I mean, guys. It is so bright. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I have to turn. see anything right now. It's not about you, man. It's all about the pictures. Sorry, my glasses are fogging up. A common problem for us spectacle wearers. But if you remember the video we did in June about the um, Syrian community, mm -hmm. one of the last businesses here in this this area before that explosion was the Niger family. So That's we did right. kind of talk a little bit about it in no, January. Wait a did we, was there a connection between the Nigers and the explosion? Um, I don't, they owned the building when it, when, when the fire happened, okay. but I never heard it is referred to it as an explosion. Okay. All right, I'm going to turn it back to you. So just, we don't know if, I mean, it could potentially be racially, racially motivated. I, I don't know. I don't think so, it was that, okay. but, but okay. because, most of the Syrian community had moved out by that point. They were really one of the last ones. Right, okay. 
But anyway, yeah, I mean, it. who knows? It could have been deemed that, but at, or deemed yeah. not arson yeah. or whatever. Right. There was okay. a, do you hear that? It's a ghost. The door was shaking. It's a ghost. Okay. So right, this goes. photograph is this block before this building is built. It was built. And so I think because it's obviously got a lot of damage here, we don't know if it, I'm assuming it's after a fire and then taking it down. Mm -hmm. um, and, but based on the cars, it was a little harder to figure out. I mean, it, if it's 1933, some of the cars may be older, which is fine. Mm -hmm. um, but it's obviously before this building was here. So you got to get a sense of the size of those two buildings that were here. One, a dry goods store and one, a grocery. Mm -hmm. And then again, the warehouse in the back. So yeah. That's a, and then right what was it Fines was here that was a jewelry store yeah and it becomes Florence's later you yeah. see a lot of them thank that, you Anna I can't read that because I have lights in my eyes no it's just because you don't have your old lady glasses we're filming right now how are you You just do what you yeah. need to do, and we'll work around you. Because we're working on, we're just moving all down. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Well, let me know if you need anything else. Okay, thanks. Is the, is the curtains all right? Do you need to yeah. No, we're, we're good. We're, thank yeah, good. good. See, they're still working. Yes. They're working hard, working and we are hard. working around them, so. I still can't read that because it's the. the oh, hey, Amy, could you talk a little louder for everybody, please? I can. I can talk louder. Okay. I will project. So this was Fine's Jewelry here, and then the other building, I can't read what it is at the time. Um, so I Let's see if I can read it. I have spots in my eyes from this oh, point. Oh, no. I know what the problem is. Amy printed a really bad copy, and that's why we can't read it. Whatevs. Whatevs. But, right. um, so yeah, like, sorry guys. Used... I don't know where the one is I, I printed. It. Here, I'm going to scoot back just a little bit. But, like, yeah, um, if you guys... Hold on, let me show you. Oh, see, look, look at all those seats. I can find a seat over there. We should have sat down, man. Why are we standing up and doing this? Let's do it. Hold on. Oh, oh, well. Okay, let's do it. Because we're on a, we can't hold it and sit in, in the thing. Okay, guys. So basically, um, it the strand opened in I think it was September of 1935. Five. Was the official opening date. And the first movie that it showed, anybody know? I do. Five, four, three, two. Go ahead. Top Hat. Top Hat with Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. Which we actually have a movie poster of that. Oh, nice. In our collection. Okay, nice. But how much did it cost when they built this building? $150,000. And back in 1935, well, that was a lot. I mean, come on. I mean, that's, you know, that's pretty significant. And I mean, it's, a, um, it's an Art Deco style with Grom <laughs> Groman. Roman and Grecian influences. Yes. I was trying to merge the two together. Grecian, Roman, Groman. Groman. Uh, that should be a word, yes. to be on, honest. Um, but, yeah, let me read a couple of yeah, um, um, articles here. So this is from the Cobb County News, or actually it's Cobb County Times, mm -hmm. that from September 19th, 1935. And it says, in this new building, there will, there will be found the latest type of projectors, more modern even than can be found in any Atlanta theater. Big spotlights, color screens, emergency equipment to use if it should happen that one projector should cease functioning. All indeed, that goes to the mechanics of a good theater. The structure of the strand is fireproof throughout. That's super important though. I mean... It is, but you know, we've heard that before, you know. <laughs> Wine cough, anybody? <laughs> that was a hotel, though. That's different. I Never mean, claim you're unsinkable or fireproof. Or fireproof. Okay, would, that's, that's number one. Or, or, or that you're always right, because it's going <laughs> to yes. be a problem. Um, a fire in the projection room would never be discovered by the audience. Automatic steel shutters make this room as completely tight as the ammunition storeroom in one of the Navy's battleships. Full required exits to avoid any possibility of a fire panic have been required have been provided. Um, and then I would hope it's required. <laughs> also required. <laughs> <laughs> then um, there's an interior description. I'm gonna pull this out so you can hear me a little better. There's an interior description uh, in the Marietta Daily Journal, and it says there is the luxurious feel of deep carpeting underfoot 
and the intoxication of soft lighting from many Dresden colored lights that seem to effuse from the most unexpected places. The loveliest of which is a soft blue one that brings out the huge white urns in silhouette, move my sticky note, in the alcoves at each side of the stage. The strand has been decorated by a master artist, De La, here comes my French, De Langlaire, De Langlaire, De Langlaire, <laughs> the Frenchman, <laughs> who splashes colors with reckless abandon and yet whose finished work is a symphony of art that is bound to please the most exacting tastes. The foyer is so beautiful, colorful, yes, but done in so many shades of blue, sky blue, aquamarine blue, metallic blue, and sapphire blue, yet carpeted and draped in contrasting colors that bring out beauty of the whole. Um, and it goes on and on and on and on and on, discussing how beautiful this building is at the time. Um, gold, brocade, gold brocade drop, a blue and gold brocade drop. Um, so I'm guessing that's the curtains. Mm -hmm. um, red leather seats and red brocade backs. Uh, let's see. The carpets are red plaid with more colors to add to the symphony without intrusion. So there was a whole lot of colors going on here. Gold and blue and red. But if you think red, about it, you know, you're at, the, you're at the height of the depression. You want mm -hmm. to go and be at a place that's going to escape, get you out of your home and it's going to be mm -hmm. escapism. So you want it to yes. be, right. you know, in your face. It's funny. They, they go on to, to discuss the, um, the powder rooms for the ladies. Um, well, that is truly important. They better be nice. They're all done in black and white tile with lovely furnishings and draperies. And then they say, of course, there are men's rooms too. Like, I mean, yeah. That's about right. You know. Um, so, yeah. So there's, there's some, um, a great description of it in the Married a Daily Journal. So. All right. So what I'm going to do, um, Amy's going to grab her other stuff. Okay. But, yeah, we're just going to go. Actually, I'm going to take us off the stand because yeah. I don't want to walk with this. We're not going to go everywhere right now, but... I promise. I do want to say before we move on, though, that the... Um, Hold on, let me show you. It, they're here. not... Here's the stairs. They're oh, not yeah. easy. We're going to be very careful because the pit is open to... Um, this is the organ down here, guys, so we're going to be very careful. But here, you get a better idea, a better view. Mm -hmm. um, my mom's not on here, but... Beverly, your daughter's on stage at the Strand. Hey, watch out. All right, so real quick to Hold on, let, me, um, let me turn you guys around. You can kind oh, of see this it's building dark, was so it was so. built in 1935, yeah. and but it wasn't the whole thing was not a theater. No, so, and we'll I mean when we go upstairs, yeah, we'll, yeah. So here, originally it had a grocery store in the front, the front um, corner, uh, front what was that these? At the corner of Cherokee and yeah, North Cherokee Park. And North yeah, Park. there was a grocery store. And then there was also upstairs a photography studio, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Wasn't there a jewelry um, store? Well, the, the grocery store turned into a oh, jewelry store. Oh, gotcha. So, and then it went through a number of different owners from the Manning Winks company. It went to Martin. Martin um, Theater, yeah. Martin Theater, which we have a number of great photos when it was the Martin Theater. We can show those in a little bit. And, I'm going to close that one. And, well, um, you're okay for a minute since there's yeah. nobody in here. We're trying to be respectful, and yeah. there's nobody else here in the Strand. Or in this part. I'm not like breathing in like Darth Vader. Um, well, you look like Darth Vader right now. So. so, Martin Theater takes it over during the 40s until the 50s. And in the 50s, I don't have the exact date with me, but in the 50s, another a Georgia theater company comes in. No, it's a little bit. Keep, no, they keep the Martin sign up. Oh, okay. So it's actually owned by the Georgia theater company, but they keep the Martin marquees. Well, according to this thesis. Was, was well, right. okay. Yeah. And so they keep that Martin sign. So that's going to be, you know, a little interesting for us as researchers. We might want to go back on our some of our photos that say Martin Theater. It might not technically be a mm -hmm. Martin Theater. It may still be though, because we we had one of our Remember When clubs was on the um, drive-ins, and mm -hmm. we had a the Zimmerman yeah, family. Uh, Zimmerman. Jerome Zimmerman was the manager for this theater and a number of other like the drive-ins. Yeah. And so um, he's passed. Yeah. And his wife has passed, but his children are still around, and so mm -hmm. they still have images. Like, um, hold it on. It may have still been managed by the Martins, but owned by the Georgia Theater. Maybe. Yeah. So I don't know the exact um, 
ownership situation there. But then it was a theater until uh, the 70s, and then a church came in in the 80s, um, I think. The family that owns it now purchased it around 76, 78, 78, 78, 78 somewhere That's around right. there. And then they leased it to a church, mm -hmm. and then in the 90s, they leased it to a, um, a, music, a company that put on um, Christian band concerts. Mm -hmm. And then after that, it became something called Hanger, which some of y'all may remember. Not so Christian bands. Not in, so in my Christian bands. In our day. More of like a club and, and um, rock club, rock band, mm -hmm. rock, um, good old rock and roll. Um, I sure. saw a heavy metal band here, so it was pretty. Oh. But it was a high school garage band. It was, so yeah, that's what know. mine was, a high school um, garage. At that time, this whole building on the inside was completely black, painted black, and um, pretty Fun. much looked like. There were no seats. No, I've got pictures. I mean, it was like levels. Hold on. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I mean. This is crazy when you can't lick your finger to switch the pages. That's all right. Um, I will say so like I. This. Yeah, hold on. Okay. Um, I'm going to switch around. I'm going to put the light on, I guess. Yeah, here, there you go. Okay. So this is what it looked like in 2003 before they did the renovation. And that's pretty much what it looked like when I came to concerts in the 90s. It was well, that's upstairs. Left. This is you're on the balcony. But that's what it looked like. Still, well, on the balcony, it had the, um, the seat. It was just platforms like that. Yeah, it was. The they were. They were. I remember when I was here. It was like lots of platforms and then flat spaces and yeah. platforms and then. But, yeah. but um, okay, everybody. Here's your word of the day because oh. I've been saying this the whole time. Yes, I have pictures of it too. Um, you need to understand that the strand at one point. It kind of really doesn't now, but um, they had vomitories. They do now. It does. It technically is a vomitory. Up top. If you're not sure what a vomitory is, for an adjective, it means what it sounds like. It does include vomit. For a noun, a vomitory is the space that you walk through, the tunnel that you walk through in order to get to your seats at a theater, at a uh, stadium. Mm -hmm. So there is a vomitory. There's your word of the day, everybody. Yes. It's right, where's my hand? It's, yeah. Oh, there you go, down, over right. towards me. There <laughs> right you go, there. right there by that exit sign, yes. yeah. And here's what it looked like before, um, before, well, this is the side view yeah, yeah. when you're in the balcony, the side view. You know at the baseball stadium, when you come out to get to your seats and you come out of kind of the tunnel, and you're looking for your seats. It's not a tunnel. It it's the vomitory. It's the vomitory. You really, yes. next time you go to an yes. event with your children, tell them you're going to walk through yes. the vomitory to get it and mm -hmm. see what they say. Because yeah. I'm totally using that next yes. time. But, so, um, uh, yeah. Yeah, so let's walk around a little bit. Um, uh, oh, and then the last owner and the current owner, of course, is uh, the Goldstein family. And, uh, and they have the leased it to the Friends of the Strand. And that mm -hmm. is the, the group that Andy was talking about helps them fundraise mm -hmm. and and uh, Mr. Imler is one of them, mm -hmm. and they have been, I mean, they've been here going strong, doing what they can to uh, keep this keep this facility yeah. rocking, because yeah. it is, so, okay, we're on the stage. Um, yeah. I think we'll go downstairs and show you. You want to see what behind the curtains look like? I don't know if you want to see. It's a little dark for us, so we'll try and, yeah, it's dark. well, it's brighter over here, but hold on, I'm going to turn. They have sparkle things. I know, look at the sparkle things. But yeah, you oh, can we go down the stairs that way? Um, yes, we can. Oh, yay. Yeah. So they put in, you guys can see, they put in, this is something they did during COVID. They put in these um, wheelchair and um, disability lifts. So that's great. They're becoming more ADA compliant. It's harder with these older buildings to do that. But you can see we're going down the stairs. Krista, no running on the stairs. Quiet, please. Your mic may be on. If we all don't know what a hot mic is, um, we always have a hot mic, <laughs> Amy and I, it's always on. Is it that magic mic? No, it's hot mic is when somebody says something inappropriate, like us, all the time. I all right. Magic mic, hot mic. Yeah, that's different. All right. So here we are behind and underneath a little bit the stage. This is the, um, the dressing room area, the backstage. I'm sure there's an official theater term for this, which I don't know right well, now. Well, it's the... It's um, the it's the backstage, the wings, I guess. The I don't wings, know. Well, the wings are the, the wings size of the size. stage. Yeah. But so it's got the different dressing rooms as you come through. So they're paint, they've been um, painting these walls. They're repainting everything. So that's why there's not a lot of art up. They're going to put the art back up with the awesome celebrities that have been here kind of touring um, with shows like Ed Asner. And um, there was one last year with a, 
uh, Sandy Duncan. I had to think about that. But yeah, see, they've got these great little, they're just, they're, they're freshening up, which is what all of us have been doing. Yes. Um, I don't know if you can see because it's kind of dark, but this is under the stage. Here's under, see, yeah. now this is what under stage so, would be, is all the gear. Just a bunch of stuff. Just but this, storage. No, you know what that organ. is? That's the organ. So we're going to, it goes up on a riser. It's, it's got see? a lift, so it'll lift up for organ performances. Okay. So, you know, yeah. Lord, that's really bright. Sorry, guys. That is awful. All right, so again, it's just, it's just, oh, Dee Dee Con, thank you, Lynn. I, I just kept figuring the lady from Greece and I could not remember her name to save my life. And even though Andy just told us. All right, so I'm going to flip it. We're going to go back up the stairs. And this way. Oh, finally, I get to go through a curtain. Come through the curtain. Um, let's see, let's go back up. Do you want to leave the books here? Or do you need the books? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. We'll come back in here. Yes. Oh, hold on. Before we go, you guys can kind of see some of the detail. I know it's dark, but it's a maroon and gold, and we've got the urns here, but there's no, like, alcoves cut in. No, none of that's original. No, Actually, of that's original. There was a fire. In the 80s. And, uh, and it got the stage area. So yeah. the original stage is gone. So that stage was rebuilt in the 80s, yeah. Mm-hmm. But you can see, you know, they put medallions and stuff in. It's real. It's we've seen a couple of we've a couple of shows and movies in here. Uh -huh. All right. I and think here's the lobby that you really didn't get a chance to see. Before. Well, and and Andy was meeting, so we yeah. didn't want to interrupt him. Beautiful lights. There's Andy. Tracy and Hepburn. They do have some um, interpretive panels. Yeah. So you know when you guys are here next time, make sure you read them. You know what? I almost talked to Humphrey Bogart's cutout like it was Amy. I'm just telling you right now. <laughs> Don't do it. You know, okay, hold on, wait, wait, wait. We should have done this. I'm sorry we didn't do this. What? But as we were going back up here, we should have sung, Let's all go to the lobby. You don't know that song from? Yes. See, I it's wish not you... the first one I thought about, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know what don't you were know. thinking about. All right, let's go upstairs. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to show them the concession. Okay. There you go. All the images. Oh, this is actually. I can't take her anywhere. Thing that's original. The one thing oh, that's that original. is. Yes, yes. Hold on, he let me. Said, was the stairway, and the photograph of the tree. Um, so this is. Um, Hold on, let me show you this. Okay, hold on. Sorry, guys. Let me go back just to have a step. Here's the front doors. Here's the box office. Mask is required. We're good girls. You walk in, straight back would take you to the theater itself. Over here, um, to your left, concessions. And then another little area for usually coat check and, and um, if anybody's selling anything, you've got that too. Amy's trying to find whatever picture she's looking for. But the stairwell is original. Um, like a month ago, I posted a picture of the stairs and the, the flooring was like floral carpet. It was amazing. Yeah. Now this is again, this is right before renovation and um, so it's not in its best state, but, but it, you mean, you, you so get, the spindles, the spindles have been changed, yeah, but, but it's where the original staircase was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I probably yeah. did. I printed a few. Oh, <laughs> find the picture. Of no, oh well, there's one. See, look, y'all, you could win a free bike on that beautiful so that's floral car. Right yeah, that's the same staircase. Yeah. There and um, there's the cigarette machine too. That's one of my favorites. Yeah. Do you have the picture of? I, I printed it out, but it's outside, and it's for the girl can't help it. Well, the funniest part is that movie was with Jane Mansfield. If you look at the line, I think there's two girls in it, but the whole rest of the line is guys. <laughs> I, I, I mean, Jane, nice. that's, it was funny. I thought that was a nice. funny picture. Yeah. And here's a couple while we're looking at them. Here's Billy Royal. He was from Cobb County. Mm -hmm. Went to Marietta High School, I believe, didn't he? Or Sprayberry? 
Uh, um, it's one of the two. I can't remember which one. You sure it wasn't Osborne? Oh, maybe it was Osborne. Gosh, it's Cobb County. If it's Anna Hunter's still on, I thought she knew the answer one time, but maybe I did. Yeah. But um, sometimes you see it as Billy Joe Royal. Yeah. And the side door next to next to the strand is dedicated to him. Mm -hmm. Then here's another one. Walt Disney's. The Great Locomotive Chase. In Cinescope. With Fess Parker. Yes. Also, Men Against the Arctic. I don't know what that movie is. I'll take a moment to remind you that we have a whole series of videos following the real Great Locomotive Chase on our YouTube page. Here's Starring just movie. her, because I didn't choose to do that one. Yeah. Just saying. Um, this is the original stage. So here's what it looks like. I don't know the year of this, though. So. Um. Is down? No. Yeah. <laughs> so sorry. Hunter and Camp. Campbell, really? Anna, really? Campbell? I didn't know that. Okay. Good to know. Um, yeah, so this would have been more of the original because does it have the MT on top? I can't see. Because that would have been when it was a Martin Theater. It does. Yeah, so yeah. that would have been Martin. Yeah, so this yeah. would have been, yeah. But yeah, there you go. That's yeah. the idea. Okay. All right. Thank okay. you, Anna Hunter. I appreciate that. I didn't realize it was Campbell. All right. Yeah. Balcony so, closed, but guess who gets to go up? We do. Okay. Oh, Eddie said that. Well, tell Eddie thank you, Anna. I appreciate it. I knew somebody would know the answer. All right. So, I mean, they have artwork like um, second floor. Harold Lloyd. This is a neat office behind here. Actually, kind of a cool little um, alcove office. I love that. I didn't realize that. Oh, Shirley, that's awesome. I did not know that. There's the um, Earl and Rachel Smith. That was a new artwork. So, we're sh showcasing. All right. Here we go. Yes. Whoa, that was steeper than I was going to realize just then. Oh, wait. Let's go through the vomitory. Yes, come through the vomitory. Well, i got to be careful. There's lots of cords, guys, so I'm just trying to make sure that I don't. Okay. Hold on. I just want to kind of show them. Yeah. It's hard to see, but you get the idea. Okay. So, one thing about... There's the projection booth, but that's not the original projection um, area. One thing about the balcony that a lot of people who come here now. Here, I'm, I'm actually going to stand up. Do and, not know. Because it's hard. Yeah. I got short arms. Okay. One thing they don't know is that, of course, um, when this theater was open, it was segregated. And um, if you, you may recognize this because it's still outside. That is still outside. painted over. On the side of the building on Cherokee Street, mm -hmm. you'll, you'll notice if you drive by, you'll see this. Um, emblem here, which, is that an M for Martin? I don't know what that is. It might be. No, maybe. But, um, that was the main entrance, but then next to it, to the left of it, which is now, here's a better shot, now walled over and boarded over, was another doorway, another entrance. That was the colored entrance, okay? So you had your main entrance to this um, side of the, the theater, and then a colored entrance. When you entered this, you went up a series of stairs, you had your, they had their own ticket booth here. Mm -hmm. They went up a series of stairs up the side. Mm -hmm. And um, actually here, no, that's been in the lobby. There are pictures of the staircase. Um, let's see if I can find it. And they had their own section, of course, segregated section. Here it is. Um, that's their stair inner staircase that was here. Mm -hmm. It's no longer here. They tore it yeah. up in 2003. And um, this balcony area... This is a much smaller version mm -hmm. than what was originally here. So originally, you came up and this area right here where we see um, yeah. on both sides against the railing here was the white balcony. Yeah. Okay? So, yeah. so whites could still come up to the balcony and sit here and you would use, the whites would use the vomitory. But I don't know if they were just sitting here. I bet there was some necking well, going on up here. Probably. Just, but then just, saying, just saying. The upper area up here, this area, actually there wasn't a wall there. Mm -mm. That was pushed back and there were more seats. And so there was a, um, it, it's kind of hard, I don't, the way I read it was kind of hard to understand, but I'm thinking a half wall. That like a two tiered balcony kinda is what like, you're saying? Well, there was kind of like a half wall that was paneled and then more seats behind it mm, that was okay. higher that went up into their, um, their third floor. Mm -hmm. And um, that's where the colored seats were. Mm -hmm. And they also had in the left and right side of the, 
a balcony, they had their own restrooms. Right. Which were, of course, much smaller, less ornamental, and that's where they were to use the restrooms. Mm -hmm. So um, for a lot of people in Marietta, their memories of the Strand are vastly different from the majority of the white community. Mm -hmm. um, the African Americans, who are still, many of them still around here today, who remember coming up here to this theater and having to use the side door and only sit up front or up top mm -hmm. um, to watch the movies. So that's, let's see, I've got pictures. <clears throat> now I can't read because of that light. Um, here's, this is neat. It says the segregated stairwell lighting, light fixture. So they had some detail in all their lighting around. You and seem to read that just fine. Don't blame the light. You know, I have to look slightly above it <laughs> and then use my peripheral to read. Well, That's sorry. That's how special I am, okay? <laughs> Put your glasses back on. <laughs> now, I will say this. Um, until I read this book, um, I didn't realize. So we actually have, uh, originally, on this balcony right here, mm -hmm. there was a, I don't know, yay high railing. Yeah, 18 inches, yeah, two feet, nothing, inches, nothing. Two feet yeah. Railing. It's a wooden railing with metal... Um, Posts, support, yeah, support and posts. it's blue. It is blue. It's blue, and we took it off of this, um, or they took it off and gave it to us, donated it to us to the museum. I always thought that was the railing for the segregated section, but actually, oh. after I read this, I realized no, it was the balcony railing for the white section. Gotcha. Okay. So just to keep that in mind. Um, so let's see if there's any other photos in here. Oh, this was kind of cool from. There was an upper level storage mm -hmm. and they had like the old marquee letters up there and this is again in 2003 yeah um there was no walk that sign. that's what amy and i want oh my gosh. that's like what we want i have a strong i wouldn't be surprised if the current owner still has these maybe but, he'll let us look at it yes maybe he'll let me buy it from him oh i doubt that but house. yeah right um anyway so yeah, so that's some interesting information there. So that, yeah, that's the balcony. And then now that's a sound machine. Now the fireproof uh, projection room that we talked about earlier, that would have been actually one floor up mm -hmm. on the fourth floor. Mm -hmm. It was actually on the fourth floor. Yeah. Then. So um, here we are on the so-called second floor. Mm -hmm. That's the so-called third floor where the sound, the sound room is. is now. And then there was a fourth floor. Let's, um, and instead of going into that sound room from the other way, yeah, I can just show them from the window. Um, so we're going to walk up the steps just for a little bit, but it's, it's, I mean, it's got all the stuff, all the fancy stuff, all the, you know, buttons you shouldn't push, but you, you want to push them just to see what happens, but we're not going to push anything. So, um, all right. So we're going to go to the lounge. Yeah. All right. I'm going to walk back down these stairs very carefully. We're going to go to the lounge, which is also on the second floor but it's in the front of the building, okay? So I'm gonna turn around so I can see where I'm going. Yeah, so you get the idea. I don't think I've watched a movie from the balcony. I've seen concerts from the balcony. It's a great view, sounds great up here. All right, so. Again, more pictures, lots of pictures. Yes. Always lots of movie photos. And then there's going to be some artwork over to the side in just a minute, which is available for sale at Royal. Yes, yes. I'm kind of. Did you say Robert Kent Gallery? Yes. Yeah, so you got Kent this Gallery. one. Um, if you guys can't tell, I like the one with the cat. That would be me and a cat, probably. Go. And then oh, I like that one too. But you ready? Okay. Okay. The lounge. I'll meet you over on the other doorway. Right. Come on into the lounge. So um, pre-COVID, this was a happening spot that I've been to many times. We both have. <laughs> um, they often will have a jazz trio or a band, classic rock band or somebody over in the corner playing. They're just a piano player. Mm -hmm. They got the bar going over here. It's called Lemire Lounge. I'm going to scoot over uh, a little bit. Was. I don't know if it's still running as Lemire Lounge. But, um, um, they yeah, I didn't know. They films here. Um, you just kind of chill. They it's got games. They were doing... Come up and chill. They were doing game night. nights. Yeah, yeah but um, kind of weekend nights, weekend nights too. Yeah, that's right. But this uh, this space, this part of the building, originally, when it was originally built in 1935, was opened as Loudermilk Studio, the photography mm -hmm. studio. And um, is there anything you want to say about the Loudermilk Studio? If you have any photos from Loudermilk Studio, <laughs> I'd I'd like to have them, please. We have some. We have some, but I always want yeah. more because I like yeah. photos. But anything like that, and then um. 
Let me see if I can show them outside. It's hard to see because the sign is right here. Mm -hmm. But if you're ever wondering where the sign is in relation to how this building is, mm -hmm. the big light up sign is literally right there. That's it. That's the marquee. back side of it. The marquee. marquee. Thank you. Yes. But this is, yeah, the part that says the strand. And so, yeah. Oh, look at it. I like it when it's hopping. You can actually access this room if you are coming up at night and the bottom main doors are locked and shut or for whatever reason. There's a side door, as you mentioned, the mm. Joe Royal entrance on yeah. the side out front. And it'll take you up the stairwell right here. And you'll come up the stairwell this way. The center of the Doug Stoner and Della Stoner Art Gallery. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Dark We'll go up because we Andy took us up the other way, so yeah. yeah, we'll go up the other way to the third floor because that actually just goes up to the fourth floor. Yeah, thing. so I made the um, assessment that coming into this building it must be the way that people feel when they come into our building. I was so lost. I'm like, <laughs> where am I going? How do I get around? And I've been in this building before, like up and down, up and down. I'll just be, I'll be right here. I'll see you in a few minutes. I'm not showing that because we're on the we're on the clock. <laughs> When it's five o'clock, we can come back. It's the bar storeroom. Mm -hmm. All right. But so in here, in the stairwell, if you've never been inside, they've got a number of their movie poster or uh, performance yeah. posters. So you can see things. all these fun shows. Look at Lakeem. Lakeem was an intern of ours. Lakeem, shirt right there. Lakeem Jackson. We need to catch up with him. I know. See, look, memories, memories. But yeah, there's nothing like fancy about the stairwell, but. You know, if we're going to do these, we're going to do these right. We're going to show you. At first, we went up the elevator and we're like, well, that's no fun. Nobody wants to see just the elevator. Here's the sound. Here's the booth from, again yeah. from another angle. Mm -hmm. We have offices over here. Yes. These are the executive offices. Whoa. Oh, look who I found. I see I found them again. Hi, everybody. Hello. We're making our way through. Yes. Oh, yeah, let me show that. The first oh, yes. donation ever from uh, Paul Newman and Joanne Woodward. And yes. why would they give money to you? Because Joanne Woodward is Marietta royalty. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We're so, look. Yeah. One of these. Yeah. Do you, oh, or yes. paintings of her, yeah. Yes. Various. Wait, are these her paintings. three faces of Eve? Uh. Yeah, yeah. I got it right. Woohoo. Like that never dawned on me before, but yes, it is. Amy was like, I don't know what she's talking about, <laughs> but I got it. Uh, yeah. All the things. Uh, Ron right. Carter playing uh, Phantom. Phantom. Yeah. But not just playing it, it was the silent film, and he's. Oh, oh he was that. going along to it, yeah. This is the yeah. last theater in the state of Georgia outside of the city of Atlanta with an ongoing silent film with Live Organ and Company. That's serious. Oh. I don't know. When's that going to start back up? The moment we can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll be here. I right. promise. I will. Uh, yeah. Zach Seba of The oh, Voice yeah. fame, which yes. is uh, getting his start here at the yep. Strand Theater. Yep. Oh, All the things. Nice. All the things. And Andy's getting a new uh, paint in his office. Yep, we're yeah. repainting He's working to, in there. to match mm -hmm. the lounge and the... Uh, Andy hmm. has a tap in his, um, in his office. Sometimes like, you just need a little extra red <laughs> hair. That's right. You know? I mean, right. we do have red hair right behind us now, Amy. That's so right. yeah. we, luckily, we're within wait. walking distance Cannot as well. Wait. So yeah, we got all yes. this. See the offices. Yes. We're gonna we're so, gonna go upstairs now, yes, Andy, because we didn't go up floor. to the fourth floor. Oh my goodness. Which okay, I'm going this so way. Yeah, I'm going this way. Stairs. You get a little Earl Smith action yeah. right I here. know. We showed him that one with him yes. and Rachel. That yes. one is so nice. I, I go. Right. In the fresh air. Yes. All right. See, look more posters. So, is it the 85th year? Is that what I'm... That is correct. Yeah! Our 85th birthday took place on September 24th at 2 p.m. Okay. Where we watched... Uh, we opened at 2 p.m. with Top Hat with oh, Fred, yes. yeah, we made Fred, Fred and Ginger Rogers. Yeah, Fred and... Oh, sorry, I turned yeah, that the wrong way. That was, that was the first movie. Yes. Yeah. Um, so this space, um, you, you rent it out and... I've been up here when it was, had the bar going on. We yep. had one of our Remember Wine Club events up yep. here. That's right. So, um, that was so this is the rehearsal dinner that's yeah. going to be happening this evening. Nice. They're actually uh, taking a couple of different spaces inside the Strand Theater. We are excited to have them. Yeah. Yes. And then, okay, guys, if you haven't been out here, yeah. 
great. This is, today's really a day too. It is a great spot to be outside. You've had the awning for how long? Like a we year? The more. awning in 2015. Why do I think it was more recent yeah. than that? I don't know. Yeah, no, that's... So yeah, there's an awning. Here are, they frequently have um, just open bar up here. So at you know weeknights, yeah. weekends before COVID, you could come up here and just hang out and watch people on square, grab look a at drink. That, look at that view, guys. A lot of fun. There's the mountain. There. Oh, hey, Amy. There's a train. Yeah. I didn't even hear it. Trains in Marietta. But I didn't hear it inside your building. I heard it. I can hear it in our building. Whoever would. I, would have I mean, heard this is I know. Look at all this. But look at this yeah. view, guys. It's a million dollar view in Marietta. For way less. Way cheaper. Way cheaper than that for Doesn't one night. It cost a fraction of a million. A fraction. <laughs> a fraction of a million. All right, guys. So I think we've done everything. Have I missed anything, Amy? No. Do you have any questions or anybody popping on? Um, I, I had people popping on. So I had somebody say that they worked as a cashier here in the 50s. Oh, I love that. Yeah, so, is um, that my name? I went, well, yeah. I want to all the stories. I collect all the stories. Yeah, oh, good, good. See, this is what happens. He's working. He's that's, working. I'll come back over here with That's you. what happens. When, hold on, let's yes, go in the shade. I hung up okay. on them. Oh, See, when you're, when you're important like Andy, you got to step away. Amy and I are not that way. What? I made you hide in the closet? No, you wouldn't let me hide in the closet. Oh, no. Because it was full of alcohol. All right. So, Andy, before we, anything else you want to say before we head out? Thank you so much for joining us today. If you feel it in your heart and you'd love to see this monument devoted to the best of the theatrical arts remain another 85 years, please mm -hmm. join Stephen Imler in his matching challenge. If we can raise $50,000 by the end of this year, then he will match that $50,000 for a total of $100,000. Do the math. Do the math. <laughs> and we are $2. You are $4. $4, $4, $4, $4 richer. That's right. <laughs> but, uh, I didn't have mine, but he will get my two, which means he will be eight dollars richer. Eight dollars richer, right? I know. <laughs> so, we oh, love it. Uh, all right. So, I donated to one of your telethons one time. We appreciate I sure it. Sure did. As, as nonprofit theater, uh, we rely on donations to be yes. able to round out our budget. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We are uh, so yeah. thankful for anyone that would be able to give at any dollar amount. Any Absolutely. dollar amount. That's right. Absolutely. All right. So Amy and I are going to turn. All right, Amy. All right, so guys. We thank Andy and the yes. members of the Strand thank for letting us so come much. in, letting us have a fun time as always. What are we doing next week? Oh, next week um, is going to be something pre-recorded. I'm going to be out of town. Sorry. Seriously, Sorry. she didn't remember what it was. I know, so it's not going to be live. So we are going to pre-record a special something. I don't know. Uh, we'll I'm going to. Yeah, we'll come up with something, <laughs> but we'll figure it out. And um, we will see you guys. Pre I will be available live that day to answer any questions while it's running. Yeah, two o'clock. Um, Still at two o'clock. And I, yeah, at two o'clock. And I'll just make comments about Amy not being there. Yes. And just poo pooing her the whole time. But we will talk about something. Um, we have a couple ideas that we're running around. If you would like another what's in the box. Oh, yeah, we're going to do a survey, right? I'm going to try and do a poll up. Yeah. What's in the box? Um, a one Another choice would be. Uh, pictures never shown before. Uh huh. From our archives. From our, well, Ish. even better than that. Yeah. Or um, I thought maybe like a fashion textile fashion. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Something fun. Something fun. We'll we'll get those up. But um, yeah, you guys will have a poll coming up shortly. So we will see you next week in a version. But definitely two weeks. You'll see us again live oh, in yeah. two weeks. Definitely. All right, guys. Have a great All weekend. Right, Bye. Bye.